Now, Action 10 Sonia Hill with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Howdy, South Texas. Happy Wednesday. Well, Princess Elsa was caught on camera helping to push a police truck that was stuck in the snow in Boston. The truck got stuck outside of a bar right after a foot of snow had fallen. Now, if you notice, Elsa is looking a little broad in the shoulders. Well, that's because it was an Elsa helper. Actually, it was a man dressed as a Disney queen. Well, the snow didn't seem to bother him too much anyways. Well, here in South Texas, luckily none of that snow here in our neck of the woods, but we are seeing plenty of moisture now streaming into our part of the state of Texas, which means changes for the latter half of our work week, especially since Monday and Tuesday we enjoyed really low humidity and plenty of sunshine here in South Texas. But the highs for today, not too bad. Most of us, it looks like all of us, were actually in the 70s today. Here in Corpus Christi, we reached 72 degrees, 70 up in Rockport, also 72 in Orange Grove, and 76 degrees down in Fowl furious, but currently in downtown Corpus Christi seeing mostly cloudy skies. Humidity still a bit lower than it usually is following our last front. Winds are light out of the east, currently blowing at 14 miles per hour, and we are seeing a current temperature of 68 degrees. And on that note, let's go ahead and pop up the live sky cam. Just look at that. The Harbor Bridge looking absolutely beautiful. We're seeing light winds, comfortable temperatures in the 70s. Looks like a great afternoon for hanging out outdoors. But the current radar is showing us what's really going on here in our part of the state, seeing plenty of moisture flowing towards the east from the west. We're seeing more cloud coverage than we were seeing yesterday as well. But taking a look at the bigger picture, seeing some light showers out near the Big Bend region. But all in all, things are looking pretty good here in the Lone Star State. But the temperatures across the nation, quite a range here in Texas, 60s and 70s at this hour. But up in the northeast, it's a completely different story. 40s, 30s, even 20s currently on the map, so it could always be worse than the really nice weather that we see right here in South Texas. But looking ahead at tonight, it's going to be another cool night. Expect increasing cloudiness and moisture. We'll see a low near 59 degrees tonight, and the winds will be light out of the southeast, only blowing up to about 10 miles per hour. And unfortunately, I did mention we were going to see some changes in the forecast, and tomorrow is going to be dramatically different than the last few days. Expect isolated showers and patchy drizzle. Cloudy skies throughout the day. Highs will still be warm. Expect a high of 73 degrees. Also, we'll see some breezy conditions out of the south southeast blowing up to about 20 miles per hour. And well, now it's time for our seven day forecast brought to you by Auto Nation. Auto Nation has a huge haul of trucks and SUVs all on sale right now. Visit their website and check them out. It's AutoNation.com. Now breaking down the seven day forecast tomorrow, expect increasing cloudiness. We're going to see isolated showers and patchy drizzle around the area. Friday, some of our northeasternmost counties will be seeing some thunderstorms. Saturday looking mostly sunny, even warmer in the low 80s. Sunday morning thunderstorms drying up on Monday. Very nice warm, but Tuesday not only is it the first day of spring, we're also going to see a front arrive to the coastal bend and after its arrival, it's going to be very nice. We're going to see temperatures in the 70s, some windy conditions and partly cloudy skies. Well, it's all the time for me in the forecast. Tess, back to you. All right, Tonya, thanks for that. You know, today is